I'm just uh, I'm just having a quick bowl of soup. So when we start, I'm all full of food. Hey, Lurch! Lurch, baby, what's going on? That's Harry, short for Harrison. Ooh, what were you streaming, my boy? Lurch himself. Lurch with the raid playing Cuphead? Hey! Yo, Cuphead's great. How far are you? Beat every level up to the flower. So that's Island 1. Um, okay, so you got the vegetable people. Invigorating game, yeah. That's the run and gun. If I lose, I know it's my fault. I love games like that. It's like Bayonetta or something. Just, it's something that you can just really like get good at. You know? I just wanted a few bites of soup while it was still hot. I'll probably take a break and like... Let's play some gam while this is uh, cool. Cooling while it's cooling down. It's a good fun time. It gets better as you go. Yeah. It clicks with me more than Dark Souls. I think it's the 2D. I can see that. Oh, yeah. Aaron says I can see that. <laughs> yeah, we're just starting some Silent Hill 3. It's a little refresher playthrough. I haven't played it in, uh... Okay. I haven't played it in, uh... In way too long. Oh, check this out. <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, fuck, Aaron. I have a soup mug. It's such a surreal beer right back screen. <laughs> Stop playing the intro. Yeah, I think, um, I think I'm up to 650 clips. Hey, there's some Silent Hill too. <laughs> And I think it can go two and a half hours without repeating. Headshot! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, I think that's the one problem with this uh, core, is it won't play the intro cutscene, at least. Alright, uh, action level normal, riddle level hard, baby. I have a beautiful little soup mug. Ah, ah, ah. We, um... We're actually... Waiting, um... Once we all have the time, uh, we're gonna do a blind playthrough of Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, with me, Nifty Katie, and Ari Bat Kid Rage, and I can't fucking wait. It's so hard to choose between which one's my favorite between um, Silent Hill Two and Silent Hill Three. It's also really interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see the perspectives because um, uh, Ari and Katie are familiar with um, Silent Hill stuff through Dead by Daylight. So it's going to be interesting seeing where they're coming from or like uh, connecting references and stuff like that through uh, Dead by Daylight. 
Like, this is the first appearance of Robbie ever. Actually, I might be mistaken, but I think the uh, music video for Usagi, which is like Robbie's uh, little music video, uh, came out before the game as kind of promotional. Uh, I was actually messing around with the engine last night because, uh, God, if you don't have the right um, core, this game can look pretty fucking crazy. I think this is a model that we see later um, of not quite Valteal, but um, you see a man hanging by one hand uh, in the hospital. Or maybe it's the Hilltop Center. Like I said, it's been a while. Um, with that. <clears throat> There's another Robbie there. Um, so on normal, uh, so on easy, they, they actually don't let you fall. Uh, but if you fall down and kill yourself, the uh, this beginning section will end. So that's a, a, it's probably a speedrunner tactic. But since we're playing on normal, uh, if I do that again, uh, I will fall. Dude, I was waiting for Isla to pop up. What's up, dude? Um, you actually can come in here. Nope. In here. Oh, the game actually looks a bit <clears throat> a bit louder than me. Yeah, you can actually come in here in this intro sequence. And uh, since we're playing on the PC, some of these uh, stuff look a lot sharper than they would on a standard definition. I don't know what's going on with that Robbie doll on the right. Uh, but there's nothing to uh, there's nothing in here to knock the cookie tin over so we can't get the roller coaster key there are boxes with cookies and chocolates on display oh i love this kind of stuff but i don't feel like eating it here and now oh ugh, man i was talking about the model of uh valteal question mark um in the other room but if you uh the first time you examine it she says unique dialogue that she won't say again <laughs> Yeah, Isla, I was just saying, I have a real hard time picking between um, Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 is my favorite one. They're both just for different reasons. My gameplay of this one I find is more fun and environments are cooler, but I I tend to like the story of uh, Silent Hill 2. It's just so... It it, I, I, it, it could be nostalgia too for me, because um, this was my first... Uh, Silent Hill 2 was the first game where I actually like... It took me aback how like, wow, like... You can use video games as like a real storytelling device. Like this, Silent Hill 2 wouldn't work as a movie or a book. Works really, really well as a game. Okay, so this is unique dialogue. And what's this? Something strange in a cagey box thing. A person? Not quite. I don't really want to stare at it for very long, whatever it is. And then if you look at it again, she just goes, what the? Uh, Robbie, she doesn't comment on the blood. Rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. Is there someone in there? It looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. I forget, do you say anything interesting at this one particularly? Giant rabbit costume, why would this be here? Uh, there's actually four mascots for Lakeside Amusement Park and Robbie is just one of them. It's a huge map signboard. To the north, that is, if I keep going the way I'm facing, I'll find the roller coaster. Is this an amusement park? Can you see the rest? There's a, a horse, a cat, Robbie, and... I think they all start with corresponding letters, too. Door shut tight, won't open at all. I find it interesting that you never get to see the normal, normal version of Lakeside. Uh, maybe we'll see. Oh, what? There's a street sign? Silent Hill 3 has this mechanic where you can actually zoom the camera in. Uh, Silent Hill 2 let you manipulate the camera, but not zoom. And, uh, something a lot of people miss in this, uh, beginning sequence, you actually start with some good-ass weapons. Heather is such a good designed character. There's a closer. Um, Mashihiro Ito confirmed that. Uh, oh shit. 
while he was working on um, the creature designs for this game, um, they don't represent, they each don't represent things as, uh, as they did in uh, Silent Hill 2, but there's a lot of fan theories about what they could represent and stuff. And... I guess they're not confirmed, but they're still fun to look at. I just want to look around, guys. Like I said, since we're playing on normal, if you... Like, I think you can see some of the mascots over here. On the popcorn machine, maybe not. This one might go in where you can stop the roller coaster coming at you. But we get a unique cutscene if uh, we follow the nightmare all the way through. Such a good idea starting you right in the thick of it. Oh, so there's this, um. Uh, so back in high school, I was part of this forum called Silent Hill Heaven. Um, and I remember this one user named Near Inter. Near Inter? I'm not sure how to say it. Um, but she made this um, YouTube video called The Sounds of Silent Hill 3. And um, it just really highlights some of the, the background noises. Makes you appreciate all the work they put into it. You can hear some good ones as we walk along the uh, roller coaster here. Uh, I do want to say that this is going to be like an open spoiler, as with all my Silent Hill ones, uh, an open spoiler discussion, so if you haven't played any of the games and you're planning to, um, you, it's very possible that you'll get spoiled uh, to some, some of the other Silent Hills, or definitely the ending to this one. Uh, the big one is Silent Hill 2. Nightmare. I remember behind the scenes, or the making of Silent Hill 3, they were like, yeah, we want to give contrast to the real like gritty parts of the game and the scary dark part and then you start the game in kind of like the warm red sunset i love heather <laughs> Do that whenever I eat. <laughs> Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartland. Douglas Cartland. Someone that wants to 
wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. You don't have an hour of your time. Poor Douglas. Always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Yeah, the modeling work in this game is amazing. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Oh, they're so cool. <laughs> I know, but he's already been through so much before the game even starts. I just, um, I saw a new theory that the person he's talking about when he's like, I went there on a missing persons case two years ago. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that was James, because he's like, never did find the guy. Mark in the mirror. What do I know it from? Why did I want to see it? Why does it, why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? How much my face lights up when the <laughs> save comes on. I was saying if she had any more dialogue. Yeah, totally had to be James. Cause the last time, guess someone's in there. Get a cool uh, little scare. Later on. Uh, so this is where you would find the unlimited submachine gun. This game had so many cool unlocks. So many outfits. I think I think the only other Silent Hill game that beat it with unlockables is uh, Origins. I love this song too. Oh. Heather can fucking book it too. I always wondered how the people got out of the car. Over here. Oh, that's helpful. Maybe I should walk around. Never mind. How did the how did this car park here? Well, I guess maybe they could have parked and then climbed to the back of the cabin and left. But why? Alright. Let's see. <laughs> I heard he shot a dog. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I usually don't kill a lot of monsters. Uh, this is actually Maria. think. There's a poster that says Silent Hill 2 on it somewhere, which I think I think they use Angela's uh, model. They use Angela's uh, face and model a few times in this game, but it's canonically not her, obviously. Um, oh, I think it's in the next term. I'm not your freaking Mary. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so this track, um, you can just hear it. What sounds like um, other people talking? Uh, people talking in another room. And I remember um, <laughs> me and Diana were driving somewhere and uh, we had another friend in the back seat who was just like really high. <laughs> he was fucking gone, dude. <laughs> So of course I had all the tracks from this game on my phone, including all the <laughs> weird people talking in another room. So we just played that on the radio and pretended nothing was on. He's like, do you guys hear that? <laughs> That's pretty funny. And he kept saying, and we were like, hear what? And he's like, it sounds like, it sounds like Hillary Clinton. <laughs>
That's my. That's a good rule of thumb for pranks. Confuse. Don't abuse. <laughs> don't break people's things. Don't hurt people. But confuse them. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Speaking of Angela, um, the corpse on the floor here is actually a recycled model of Angela from Silent Hill 2, since they run on the same engine and. You literally can't tell who that is. That's Angela. <laughs> oh, look, you can, you can clearly see the haircut. There it is. Oh, what happened to your face there? Close there for a second. some unique dialogue too. It's definitely not human and I've never heard of such an animal. In no way is it a costume. It's crazy when you say it but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. It's a monster and I killed it. I think she says something about like yeah look at that. Hmm. I know you can manipulate it. I wish you could manipulate it up and down. Hmm. Yeah, but that's that's old Angela. I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. Uh, let's get some ammo here because this is where you. Handgun gets forcibly put onto you. It's not that I hate clothes, but this is not the time or the place. Oh, if you go back here, I think something will trigger later. Yeah. Here's the picture. Oh, never mind. The revolt of Turnile? I don't know. Meow. Meow. There's a lot of these cursed pictures that just came out. It just came out. Yeah, they just dropped. Um, <laughs> it's the blue one. There it is. You know, this is the third one that I was like, yeah, this is it. That's actually it. That's Angela. Again. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's a bunch of these cursed pictures that I just saw on an album on Facebook, and a lot of it is like abandoned shopping malls and stuff. It totally felt like Silent Hill 3. I think there's a, a flooded, there's this abandoned subway station. It's like flooded to like knee height. And also kind of reminds me of Silent Hill 3. <clears throat> so Angela's, uh, Head, just her head, uh, is actually in the intro cutscene with the in the sunset. Um, I guess they were using it as a scale because it's just a leftover asset. The camera actually never points to it, but if you uh, manipulate the camera and turn it around and zoom it out and stuff, you'll just see Angel's floating around there for whatever reason. What's up, Snowpuff? How are you? Uh, uh, actually. Let's do the funny meme. Hey. Nope, not there. Guys, it's bread, get it? It's bread, but I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. It's bread. Oh, if you um, if you beat the game, the B in bread will be crossed out. And 
the B and R and bread will be crossed out and it'll say dead. It's so funny. Oh my god! Um, people who are really familiar with this game, um, uh, it's bread. Um, there's something called the Sewer Fairy, which, you know, um, I moved my computer and a lot of my files got ripped around, so uh, I don't have a beat and save file of this. Or oh, that would have been fun to see the Easter eggs and stuff. But yeah, there's a there's a Sewer Fairy, and if you drop your uh, pipe in the water, in the sewer, um, like a nine foot angelic fairy will come out and be like, did you drop this gold pipe? And then you say no. And she's like, did you drop this silver pipe? And then you say no. And she's like, did you drop this nasty fucking rotten pipe? And you'll say, yeah, that's mine. And then she'll give you the other ones for, for free, scot free. No money. It's really funny. <clears throat> Gotta love fucking bread, dude. Fucking carbs. We're doing all right, Snowpuff. We're doing a refresher playthrough because it's been a couple months since I played this, and the games are so freaking good. Yeah, the pipe is dope. I, they don't actually have any different stats than the normal pipe, but they're fun. They have fun descriptions too. <laughs> Use them tongs. What's up, Andrew? It's like the magic circle I remember reading about in a book on black magic. Does it seem familiar because I read about it in that book? No, that's not it. It's not from the book, it's from the altar. Altar? What am I thinking? Mall toilet. <laughs> Now we got the best sellers book. Love those guys. They see me rolling. Now this puzzle coming up. Um, okay, this is called the Shakespeare puzzle, and. There's also um, the hospital keypad puzzle, which are some of my favorite, like, such well-written puzzles ever in any survival horror game. There's also a picture of um, Norman Reedus in this game, and let's see if we can find him. Someone in the magazine. So he was in Silent Hill way before PT was even a thing. Where are you, Norman? Norman! He's on the other wall. I know we get a good look at it. Norman, Norman. Uh, there's a picture of him on the stairs. There it is, where it says college. Um, that's actually a picture from Boondock Saints. And uh, I think Norman Reedus is the guy on the left. Or no, sorry, Norman Reedus is the guy on the right. So he was in a Silent Hill game way before. Oh, is it? That was eight seven five three. I'm probably really close. <laughs> Silent Hill three Shakespeare puzzle. Nope, that's not what I said. Sound Soundhound thirty six beer puzzle. <laughs> what? How embarrassing! I can't believe I forgot it. Mm, 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 
That one guy, that one black guy is raiding with a party of seven. What's up, guys? I'm going to be really mad. What is this? Eight one three five two. Eight three five two. There was no seven. Uh, I don't. I don't want to spend the time to go over it. Um, but this puzzle is so well written and cool. Um, because you have to like coordinate this really well written um puzzle text um with and correlate it to uh Shakespeare. Shakespeare's stories, um, and they're all assigned a number, and then you have to do quick math to figure it out, and then you're left with a four-digit number. This is my favorite Silent Hill game, says Black Guy. Oh my god, look at everybody. Hi. Oh, they were just chatting. What were you chatting about? Yeah, we're finding a lot of people that uh, fucking love Silent Hill 3, and it's well-deserved. All right, so... Yeah, oh, is that Par... No. I want that to be Parasite Eve so bad, but it's not. A force. Yeah, I don't know, um... We, we were talking about, um, there is a picture, there's a texture file for a book over here that says uh, college, where is it? Um, that Norman Reedus is on way before he was in PT. He was in Silent Hill. Am I losing my mind? Where is it? I just saw, I ju we just found it. College, there it is. I know it's in here a few times. Yeah, the guy on the right, in the bottom right uh, corner where it says college, that's Norman Reedus. <clears throat> and then here's Claudia. This game went so hardcore with all the extras. Where is everybody? The UFO end, this guy has a, one of my favorite UFO endings. Black Guy says, I play a Channel Points betting game every Sunday. Today was politician or satire. You guess whether the quote was from a real politician or a quote from a satirical piece of media. Yeah, that is genius, dude. <laughs> How did it go? I'll have to check on the bottom, though. <laughs> I remember in the behind the scenes, they were talking about um, struggles they were having coming up with Claudia's character. And... Uh, once they remove the eyebrows, um, kind of drove home. It, uh, I don't know. It made a big impact on uh, her character and how her character plays out. Just removing some eyebrows made her look kind of um, like ooh, it's not, something's wrong, but I can't place my finger on what. Some, wait, some people are hella mad that they went bank. Oh, oh, <laughs> in channel points. I was like, what? Oh, I also wanted to turn on the subtitles. It's probably lower my game. 
Oh, this is such a cool audio track too. <laughs> and this is a cutscene where you can see um, something they call the white monster. It's kind of big, bulky, has white, really pale skin, and a beak. Uh, you'll see Valtiel. It's probably one of the best Valtiel cutscenes. And then um, the Fukuro lady. A radio, what the hell is this doing falling down from the ceiling? Anyway, I guess that explains the static from just before. I know it's picking up a static, I wonder if it's broken. So we just went down. So we should be... on the first floor. Oh my god! Aaron, thank you! <laughs> Aw, that's really sweet. <laughs> you got a worm, Lurch! You've got a worm in your brain! Yeah, check this out. So these, uh, besides Valtiel, um, these monsters only appear in cutscenes. And, no, actually, the Fukuro lady you can actually see if you, um... Um, if you look through a window? In a specific place? Aaron, thank you. That was really sweet. Aaron just gifted a sub to Lurch. Aaron! <laughs> Aaron's gifted 20 subs. Aaron! Thank you, dude. For frick's sake, Aaron. <laughs> What a swell ass guy. The tone black guy. <laughs> yeah, I still didn't. I have a few things I have to update on my um, thingy, but. Yeah, Aaron just totally made um, the switch over to uh, making content on YouTube, so please go check him out. He's one of my best friends. <laughs> and dude, he's doing he's doing a blind playthrough of um, Majora's Mask, which is one of my favorite games ever. <laughs> and it's, yeah. I've been watching it the past two days, and it is so much fun seeing somebody go into that just completely blind. Yeah, please go check out Aaron. Hell of a guy. Alright, we got subbies on. Oh, we gotta get the flashlight, right? This is kind of where they force you into... This game just dumps you off in, like, really, um stressful situations, which I think really works for it. <laughs> the monsters are so not threatening. Like, yeah, they have great designs and stuff, but you get to walk. You can just walk right past them. Hey. <laughs> and then we go back to the So oh, I guess I guess we went down a floor and then right back up a floor, huh? Cuz 
we went into an elevator that doesn't exist. So it didn't drop us onto the same floor. Per se. There's like a few things we have to get in this area. First we have to go here. <clears throat> and we gotta get the hanger and the vest. Yep. So, I think it's actually cool that you can put on your bulletproof vest. It's heavy, it's heavy under a jacket, but it should protect against the monster's attacks. And it will actually make you considerably slower. Yeah, get an eye full of this and then let's take it off. Yeah, Heather books it. <clears throat> oh. And then if you trigger that other thing, this will trigger a uh, little jump scare here. Yeah, nothing happened. Um, next we need bleach. We need ammonia. We need a walnut. No, oh, that's in the next section. Is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's in the next section. Right now we just need the hanger, and then we go to a door over here that actually doesn't exist. Yeah, so if you look on the map, it actually shows that there's no door here. coat hanger I got at the boutique. Um, this game has a lot to do with birth, um, childbirth and rebirth and stuff like that, and uh, I remember hearing a theory that uh, them giving you a clothes hanger and a few other uh, items. Hmm, let me catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you have the best name, Fickle Pickle Pie. <laughs> Thanks, dude. How's your night going? You lurking? Just working and lurking. Um, there's a few places we can go here, uh, if I remember correctly. It's been a while, alright. Uh, Heather can comment, I guess it's not this store, but she can comment on, um, that there is a ring that she, um, wished was still there, so she could take it. I'm gonna go all the way to the end over here. No, not quite. Maybe here? That's the elevator. Excuse me. There was a nice silver ring in here last time I came. Bummer that it's gone. This has such um, good like environmental searchables that would do some, uh, that does really efficient character building, I think. I love Heather. Why would something like this be here? This isn't the hospital. Not yeah, sure. This again, looking at it makes my head hurt, but at the same time, it's like so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important, but I also have that feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. <clears throat> yeah, when I say PlayStation 2, what's like the top three games that come to mind? One per series, I'd say. 
we gotta find a vice, we gotta find ammonia. I think it's called cleaning agent. Actually, hang on. I'm kinda curious. <laughs> Does this kill you? No, oh. That's funny. So, something about this was always like really terrifying as a concept to me. Just escalators that go nowhere. Like imagine you were at the bottom and it just turned on. <laughs> imagine it brought you up. <laughs> it brought you back up. Uh, I don't think I gotta go there. I gotta find the place with the barbecue dog. MGS3, the getaway in Silent Hill 2. What is the getaway? I've never even heard of that. Mine would be... Okay, mine would be Silent Hill 2, I guess. <laughs> I can't pick. I have such a hard time picking between 2 and 3. Uh, MGS3 and We Love Katamari. So many on the PS2 though. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to the other side. It was a British gangster game, Free Roam London. Ooh. It's locked. Okay. Remember the layout of this hallway being pretty simple, right? And then you just have to go through one specific way and it unlocks the rest. Because there's technically two ways to get into this hallway. There's a door over here. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. All of the hits. Okay, that's locked, so... How fucking embarrassing. This door. It's still locked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's an MGS uh, Metal Gear Solid comic where um, <laughs> if you're running around and like the enemies are shooting at you and then you you call somebody really quick, uh, two guards are like, yo yo yo, don't shoot him, he's on the phone. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, look how the door is just open just a crack. This is barbecue dog. And then you get a key for downstairs. Yes yes yes. Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something in the dog's stomach. Ah, uh, my dog swallowed a key. Might as well cook and eat it. <laughs> Get the key back. Um, do you guys know what... Oh, here it is. Um, do you guys know what loss is? Like, the comic? Like, is this loss? Um, it was edited, but I saw a comic about this. And Heather just goes, I would never drink something. Rows of wine bottles. Yeah, I don't really like eating and drinking stuff from an alternate reality, okay? Um, Heather's saying that, but the bottles were aligned as laws. <laughs> All right, so downstairs, get the key. Crack the walnut. Uh, get the moon key. And the moon, moon, moon stone. Moon stone. I only remember that because it's like uh, the same name as Pokemon. <laughs> I just go up to the monster. Da, 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 da. I'm on my map. Stop. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, I should have examined that. Isla, did you see, um, yeah, you were there. Um, I recently got Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition to work, and uh, the work that just a group of modders did was, it's so cool. It's like a brand new game. I 
think there's two places. It's a big room, but I think there's two places to go in here. One of them is like a save. Point. Okay, you get the bleach or one of the detergent. Okay. Totally not ammonia. We totally don't want to teach people how to make ammonia. Um, we totally don't want to teach people how to make mustard gas. <laughs> make ammonia. Make ammonia at home. Ugh, the HD collection is such fucking hot garbage. Isla, what did they do to fucking Heather's voice? I think the actress who played Heather, um, was in some, like, mech game. This, and then I don't think she did anything else, which is a shame. So for this, we gotta uh, loop around, right? Um. Oh fuck! I think uh, I don't remember the actual name. I think it was Gretchen. I think they were going to. I think Heather's name was actually going to be Gretchen. Um. For like the for a lot of development, then uh, the voice actress Heather Morris, they were like, "Oh wait, Heather, it's actually a really nice name." Like, and then they switched to calling her Heather. Oh, the first hit in the game. The vice is supposed to be in that big room that I just came back from. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost sure. Second hit in the game, it's because of a numb body. Um. Yeah, that was so exciting and way better than the official remaster. The HD remaster was one of the worst things to happen to the art of gaming. <laughs> yeah, this explains some of my DVD playstyle run right at the killer. <laughs> it's Heather's playstyle. Anybody else in here play DVD? So embarrassing, I'm getting lost in the first area. I think we gotta go to the big room. And I remember there being a vice where you crack the walnut, get the moonstone, go back. This part has a lot of back and forth. It's like one of these doors, doesn't look like a door, but it opens. Um, yeah, this leads to the bug room. I mean, the bug room has another door at the end of the hallway, but I don't think I don't think it goes where I want. Uh, the vice isn't. I feel like my brain remembers the vice being in here, but this is where you get the <laughs> detergent. Now, son, that's detergent. I learned a really cool uh, tidbit about the fans. I can't remember if it was just a reference in another game, another Silent Hill game, or if the fans in 3 actually match up to... So like there, there's a set of fans in 1 specifically. Yeah, it would make sense for one and three to coincide. Um, there's a set of fans in one where you can't get to the other side, but in Silent Hill three, it's supposed to be that you're on the you're on the other side of those fans. Maybe maybe I'll find it. Oh, 
is a bar in the middle of um <laughs> a bar in the middle of the mall. Um we gotta go to the restroom, which is all the way over there. Ooh. Mm. There's no restrooms over here though. Cause I know that the bathroom is where you get another. I know what I'm doing wrong, I think. I think there's bleach downstairs. I thought once you came up here though, you don't really have to go back down. What a fucking embarrassment. Maybe it's up here? I don't know, man. Yeah, so since we knocked on the door earlier, um, oh, can you pan the camera in there? Oh, this isn't it. I think this is where you can trigger the cutscene where she'll uh, reach into the... Where am I? What? The holy hell? This door's locked. What? What am I thinking of? Where am I? <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Did I miss a door in here? What the hell's going on? Dude, there's a texture on the fan. No one knows about it. I'm losing my absolute mind. I was like, I hope I remember a lot of this stuff. And this is an area where I was actually pretty confident. Uh, maybe we do have to go down. Maybe I missed some stuff. I feel like I hear new stuff or see new stuff. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything in the bathroom. There we go. Bleach. And here's the Easter egg. Is someone actually in there? Let me walk out. Soaking with blood, but there's no one here. Did someone respond, or is it just me? There's always a scare in the bathroom in Silent Hill. This is the toilet, she'll do it. Uh, filthy toilet, just looking at it gives me goosebumps. Why? <laughs> it's just a nasty ass toilet. Alright, so now we can go up. Alright, that's good to remember for next time. Um, the room next to where you get the flashlight helps, so that's the bleach. Sort of stuff you'd use to clean a toilet. I think I have the same kind at home. The bottle says danger, do not mix. It was next to the bakery sink. It's not for dishes though, it's for the bathroom. The bottle says danger, do not mix. 
This is a good sized walnut from the jeweler showcase. Good sized walnut. This is the room I've taken the most damage in. And let's see. Yeah, I knew it. Right across. Then over here. Isla, ever since you said that, I've been wondering. Um, you said all the bosses plus one monster. Who's the one monster? Someone like block your path? The one monster is just a wiggle room, I think. Oh, okay. I used this to make gas earlier. Best not stick my head in too far. Oh. Who knows what's left in there? Does she, re does she react to the moths? Hello, Jopo. I hope that came through. That was uh, that's another good sound. But you get a new outfit for your next playthrough if you don't kill more than you have to. Which one is it? Because I know there's codes to unlock each one. Some of them are really fun. Um, I saw this awesome cosplay of uh, the God of Thunder outfit. It's so fucking cool. The supply room. How do you get that outfit? Yeah, if you just look up Heather God of War, God of God of Thunder cosplay, there's uh, this amazing cosplay of Heather in it. The makeup's like on point and everything, and then she's next to one of the best straight jacket cosplays I've ever seen too. Loud part in the game. And one of these is where you find the vice. That's right. It is the white-haired one with the tattoos. Yeah, that's God of Thunder. I wonder it hurts. I feel so awful when I look at it. Hey, Minatsu. Dang, everybody's here. There is, there is a Sailor Moon knockoff of it. Yeah, Princess Heart. Um, Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, actually, hang on. We're gonna save, um, because we're gonna restart the uh, game. Oh, we're gonna go to the main menu, uh, because I want to enter some of those costume things, because there is a... Hmm, we're gonna have to actually restart. <laughs> there is a um, an Easter egg where if you're wearing the Princess Heart costume, and you have the mall equipped. There's one room with an insane cancer in it um, where it will have audio where it's speaking Japanese and then Heather will also speak Japanese. And if you hit him specifically with the mall, uh, he'll say more unique phrases. And I had, it is in Hilltop Center. I didn't believe it was real because it was like a YouTube video and I was like, okay, anybody could have just edited that. But 
I've triggered it myself and it's actually true. Um, so let's restart. There's so much weird shit in this game, I love it. Not the dance studio, but it's the place where you find the liver in the fridge. Sorry, I, I know I'm eating. Oh no! You don't have the option to enter passwords. <laughs> um, why are we starting? I'm only I'm making dinner and only here when I'm not running water. Um, we're starting because I was gonna enter the passwords to get the new outfits and stuff. Yeah, you have to beat the game first. Okay. Um, I was gonna enter the passwords to get the outfits because I want to show you some uh, Easter eggs that will only trigger when um, when you wear uh, the Princess Heart outfit. Never mind. I recall it being a normally pointless room. No, I think you get the liver there in the fridge. Um, the dance studio is actually a pointless room. Um, because it's just a trap room. There's not even any supplies in there, I don't think. There's just, uh, there we go. It's just insane cancers. A nut, a moon nut. See, <laughs> shortcut. Oh, I love the mirror room. Let's see if I can find my way back. Oh, yeah, so this is the first um, big room to put you in. So it's like right, yeah, see the bar, they have some numb bodies. Right in front of the door. Pesky. So the one with the hallway across from it. Store. Yeah, mirror room is really cool. Um, the room in the church with the closer in it, where if you wait long enough, uh, the patterns on the wall will become perfect circles that just kind of grow. I, you can ask Aaron. This is this is where. Um, <laughs> He's got like this inside joke with me um, gushing about fucking textures and <laughs> games, <laughs> um, and it's from this game because uh, they came out with this like really fleshy-looking moving texture that's really effective. Um, and they use it a lot in this game. The door is a red crescent and a round gun. Something's written here in this. Uh, doesn't pause. Look at the textures! <laughs> Everyone! There's a mirror room in Silent Hill too, but it's not as cool. Just as Angela. Okay, Heather. <laughs> Remember the game isn't paused. Yeah. Um, now it just says, I wonder how these people would tackle Silent Hill 3 nowadays. Yeah. It would be completely different. Maybe they would do like Resident Evil 4 approach with like over the shoulder 
it would be completely different. Because these um, static camera angles, uh, fixed camera games do not sell anymore, unfortunately. Um, a lot of indie developers make games uh, that have the fixed camera angles, but you don't see them in AAA games anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it would be over the shoulder, like Resident Evil 2 style. You know, the lighting and the textures and stuff would be crazy. Yeah, the models in this game specific. I like James and Castasano too look a little rough, but it was very early on in the PS2's life cycle. This, this game came out only a year later. But Heather looks fucking great. Douglas looks great. James's in-game model looks a little rough. His cutscene model looks great, though. Is this too loud? It looks, it looks a little loud. Okay, it's at 15. Let's try. Let's try, let's try 10. I know, we were talking about that before. The new fucking voices for Heather and everybody just like Troy Baker for James? Like, what are you doing? Drowned your voice a little, yeah, it's a bit better now. Thank you. Yeah, that's one thing, uh, because I usually like um, to have these uh, streams recorded. Because uh, if you look below, under under the YouTube section, um, it, I have a lot of my streams archived. Um, I'll never get back those few years before I learned the... Uh, Highlighting trick, but there's a lot of games on that list now. Uh, I like doing that. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing you can do if the game is too loud compared to your voice. <clears throat> it's still a little loud, jeez. Oh. I'm spamming X, she's just not getting up. Jesus, Heather. Ooh! <laughs> I forgot he did that. <laughs> she, she's, she, she's vibing on the floor. This game's rough to figure out the audio levels for too, because there's so many uh, cool ambient sounds. But yeah, the the pendulums and the uh, some of the boss musics. Definitely got a little loud there. <laughs> the phallic device. I'd never. My headphones are broken, so I can't be much help. I can only hear from my left side. Ah, dude, that's the worst. Driving you, Royal Grill. There's another Sunshine Princess. Um, that's two in the same mall. Uh, the Natural Shop. A little horse there. Bluebell. I think there was another one of those two upstairs. Blue Marine Surf Shop. <laughs> Is that Comic Sans? I think that's Comic Sans. Uh, Cafe Paradise uh, room. You know what? I think I remember being able to move, manipulate the camera up and down. Maybe I just didn't. Maybe I just didn't set up and down on the right joystick. Uh, Controllers, pad settings, pad one, 
right stick up, right stick down. Okay, let's see. Boop. Yeah, I knew you could do it. I guess I just forgot to bind them. Purple side. I <laughs> I'm such a nerd for this stuff. Key of beauty. Like, look, they, they come up with like fake logos and stuff too. <clears throat> Regarding the voices on the remaster, I'm afraid I can't be objective. Uh, I'm not sure if it's nostalgia and detachment more than the cast and direction being weak. I feel that too, but... Yeah, I guess I can't uh, comment without being subjective because uh, I've heard people are fine with the new voices. I haven't played the original. Orange Field, Purple Place, Newsboy, <laughs> News for Boy, Ruby Coffee Company. That looks like a real logo. A Sarah, a good Sarah font. Allie's ice cream. <laughs> Lila's accessories? Little maintenance store. Oh, what's this place? Something restaurant and happy burger. There's a happy burger in every game except one. One has Konami burger. Burger shop. This is where the game started out. Uh, Heather was sitting right here. This is where I was sleeping earlier. Hell, I might still be sleeping here for all I know. I wish I were. Yeah, you can actually just walk right past this. Totally miss it. King size. Nice. Staff only. You get a save point and a nice little supply drop before the uh, subway. I thought it was Burger Queen. Isn't that a real thing now? Didn't Burger King do like a thing? You can really see how expressive Heather's face is.
going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? <laughs> I don't know, bye. <laughs> um, Manatsu says, Heather sounds like a 30-year-old trying to sound 16 to me. Then again, it might just be me. No, I think I think the recast for Heather is objectively bad. Um, and just uh, some of the voice lines. Um, oh, Minmo is down here. I like that that became like a meme. Fruity Rouge. Oh, there's some... There's some comic sans for you. Think about Earth Day. <laughs> there she is. There's Minmo. Comic sans Minmo. Growing strong and healthy. We'll get a better view later. <laughs> right here. Minmo. Uh, something. Oh, <laughs> uh, that cat is probably not still alive. <laughs> Ugh, I can play this game a thousand times. I feel like I'll still get lost in the subway. Um, oh, let's um, let's trigger the ghost cutscene. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident, Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata college-bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witness report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet tall, 10 inches, and was wearing a black jacket. This newspaper is 4 months old. What is it doing here now? And then if you look at the occult book on the stairs... Every time I always get lost. I think the map is around here somewhere and I can help out. Mm. Where are you, map? I think it's on the other side of this. Wow. We'll come across the occult book later. Isla, have you ever seen the other um the other concept art for what Heather could have looked like? I remember she had actually had like a lot of cool outfits. <laughs> a row of phone boots but they're all broken did i do that or did the game <laughs> boom i remember the girls wanted the girls wanted the skirt yeah because she was um she was in jeans originally oh this is a poster we haven't seen yet oh no it's not it's the birthday one but with coffee donuts kind of thing she had no comment on this uh, halo of the sun <clears throat> here's one that we haven't seen eighth international peace blenial blenial what's that what's some pink writing in front of a dove Robert Jens. Keep my eye for the book. All right, I looked it up. It was actually called Queen Burger. Oh, in which game? The first one? 
There it is. I read this a long time ago. It's not. It's a nothing little occult magazine. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. Sun Oh, okay. I wonder which one Konami Burger was in. Maybe Origins? It's not so bad if you just read it for fun, though. The souls of those who have died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moment they've died. The pain can get so bad that they turn to humans for salvation, or they begrudge humans their lives. At such times, they can possess humans. In places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or at the time of death occurred. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you too. That's such a... <laughs> that reminds me so much of the haunted house section of this. And then, yeah, here's what happens. And they're walking like this, so their shoulders are like, duh, 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 duh. train actually come? Oh, I guess if you walk there. There's a, there's a cool thing um, we'll see later about being on the train. Cool little uh, easter egg that you can, I don't know if it's an easter egg, but it's it's a cool little uh, thing that you can miss. If you ah uh, Minatsu confirmed, if you stay on the tracks too long, you do die too. Okay. And which uh, which thing was that? Cause I always get lost in the subway. Um, na, na, na. Hazel Street, the Hazel Street line. Bergen. I always get lost on the freaking subway. A camera there with a mind of its own. This is. We're looking for the red door one, right? Son of a bitch. I think we're looking for the shotgun, uh, the nutcracker. <clears throat> I think it's funny that um, you use a nutcracker on like an industrial nut, and then <laughs> you use an industrial tool for an actual walnut. All right, so that's locked. Man. I, uh, I don't know if Aaron is still here, but um, I played Silent Hill 2, the enhanced edi edition, like three times in a row and eventually <laughs> ended up um, doing like my first little speed run of it just because I remembered where everything was so we went that way let's go this way we need the nutcracker which I believe I think we went two of the three ways we can go if you subdivide the subway yeah, so here's the place where we need the nutcracker. You find that next to the blockage with the body. 
And then I think that's where you get the shotgun. Or do you get the nutcracker in the train car with the shotgun? I know they, they like putting key items near technical op optional items. It's like, you could still beat the game without picking up the shotgun. Remember how I told you the Easter egg here of how to find closers? Wait, yeah, I do. Yeah, here we go. And you can get to the other side to see uh, what's over there because that's, yeah, you can clearly see a guy's legs over here. Yeah, there's because there's no other instance of uh, closers in the subway because they want you to keep progressing. But if you go backwards, um, they spawn a few closers to kind of persuade you to go the other way. It must be over here. That would be the only way it makes sense. What? Okay, so you go down the stairs, there should be two staircases, or is it just blocked immediately? Blocked. Oh! You might have to reach it from below, um, through a hallway that goes underneath the tracks. So like here, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I had never heard of that before you told me. Here we go. And... Path is blocked with trash, and I can't go through here. You're not going to comment on the. Maybe you did, and I skipped over it because you're not going to mention. <laughs> oh, is someone sleeping here? A dead body. I can't really do anything for the poor guy. Ah, oh, I missed the dialogue. Yeah, I wonder if that's reused model assets. Like if that's Douglas's legs or something. I don't think Vincent would wear those shoes. That's not too far out of the way. Maybe we can trigger the uh, the closers again. All right, so let's go up the stairs. Nope. Oh, must be on this side. Yeah. See, because I was like, maybe I should do some Silent Hill 2 um, before I play this so that it's on the same memory cards. We can see those Easter eggs, but I don't know if I'll play the PS2 version of Silent Hill 2 again, considering I got the Enhanced Edition to work. Rusty and impossible to turn. This is for cracking open nuts. All right, Lurch says, I'm, I'm heading out of here. Happy stream, video bomb. Thank you. Gratitude for the sub, Aaron Chef. Yeah, dude, thank you. I'm gonna do another shout out for Lurch. Yo, Lurch plays all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'll have to check out that VOD of you playing uh, Cuphead. Was that, your, was that a blind run of Cuphead? Lurch is kind of a variety streamer. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Shotty. Gift wrap. Not. No, I guess not. I know. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. But I'll take it anyway. It should come handy against the monsters. Oh. <laughs> Lurk. All my games are blind playthroughs, BB. Alright, so now that we're past the nut door, I use Twitch to make myself finish my backlog. That is so good. Lurch. Oh man, I just want people to get on the um, retro achievement train with me. Because <laughs> uh, retro achievements have made me... Um, really play uh, games that I really played to death as a kid. It just made me play them again. 
There's a step ladder and wheelbarrow blocking the way. I can't get through. Oh no. Can't get through. So thanks for the shout out. I'll check it out again. Yeah, well, if you're interested. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, that's um, this website called Retro Achievements that added a bunch of um, achievements and they pop just like uh, Xbox achievements uh, for all these like PlayStation 1 and 64, Genesis, like everything from Atari to kind of the PS1 and 64 era. So there was an insane cancer that we just did not have to deal with. Oh. Oops. <clears throat> Let's let Heather catch her breath. There we go. I wonder if she moves faster if you let her. Uh... It feels it feels like it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Lurch. I'll talk to you later, man. Let the man go to bed. Cool stuff actually happens in the subway, huh? I wonder what the subway was like modeled after. Oh, Havoc business. There was a there was a poster for that in. Uh... Oh, I can't look up. Can't can't look anywhere else. Okay. Uh, there was a poster for that movie in uh, the mall. Oh, this looks this looks promising. Uh, let me zoom, please. Yeah, Jacob's Ladder. What a great fucking movie. Inside. Yeah, subways are not usually complicated or big. Um, I say that growing up in New York. <laughs> Most subway stations, there's there's like Grand Central and stuff with a lot of them, but that's that's as big as they got. Um, in New York at least. Every other one has like, you know, you can go this way or that way. You can go one way or the other. Um, some, some, of, most of them have one, but some of them have two. Alright, here's a, here's a cool thing you can miss. You can look outside the back of the train here. And, you know, you can jump off. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but... Why did you do that, Heather? <laughs> but if you go, oh, let's do a save, proper save. The symbol's drawn on the floor. I hope I don't get cursed just by stepping on it. Yeah, you will. In the train. All right, so if you go through one of the train doors, moving on to the next thing, and then go back, uh, the train car you were just in will disappear. It's a fun little thing. It's a little bit fun. Oh, oh I forgot, you can actually block in this game. Yeah, it's actually pretty effective too. Yeah! <laughs> Just like that. Whoa, this is trippy. 
That's a Caesar warning, huh? <laughs> you don't get cursed, you just get pregnant. Do it again. Nice! <laughs> I think I took damage on the second one there, but... them organizing your items, weapons, and supplies, too. Shotgun shells. I think the hilltop center and the hospital are some of my favorite parts in this. Go, 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 go. What about you guys? The mall is such a... The mall is such an interesting uh, starting area too. I feel like it's a lot funner than um, the Wood Creek Apartments. I like the church in the mall. Yeah. The church is so cool. Because it's just like... As bananas as the game gets. Dragon. Some graffiti here on the wall. It's so dirty I can't read it. Never mind. Oh, there's some other cool stuff here if you beat the game. An old pattern is painted in here among the graffiti. Looks like it was just put here too. But by whom? And why does it and why does my head Hospital's so cool. Hospital and the church really flex the flex their muscles. Yeah, like uh Silent Hill 3 Hospital is like peak Silent Hill uh, aesthetic for me. With the blurry filter on the walls and stuff. It looks fucking great. The amusement park. Yeah, Silent Hill 3 has the funnest uh, areas in gameplay, in my opinion. Um, Silent Hill 2, I think. Uh, oh god. I remember I was watching a playthrough of this um, back in like high school and someone was like, nope, not going to do that. The long hallway, something's going to happen. And he was just like, the whole way. <laughs> the part in New Game Plus with the textures and the long stairs. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, if you beat the game, uh, one room in the underpass will actually just be like super weird. Yeah, I think it's this room. Pendulums look really cool, and their their designs stellar, but they're so fucking loud, and I guess that's the point. But not for streaming. Sound design in three is the best in all games. Fight me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was saying it before. I'm about to take like a the little bathroom and water break, but yeah, let me post this video. Um, you guys can watch it. Uh, sounds of Silent Hill 3. Yeah, the noises. Um, oh, here's a whole playlist. I'm just gonna drop this here. Feel free to watch it if you want, but it's just like showcasing some of the really like obscure sounds of the game. All right, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Bye.
Hey. Oh, how silly. Oh, how silly. Um, Jepo says, what did Jepo just say? So how one kind of oh, so how one kind of luck there is. It was school, hospital, and nowhere, but you did spend a lot of time on the streets. Yeah, I remember that. This part on New Game Plus with the textures and long stairs. The game's just too cool. Yeah, sound design of three is the best. Oh, Jepo says no, it's a long hallway with no enemies. Hmm. I can picture it in my I think it's more close to the construction site in location. Uh, this has a lot of back and forth, I remember. There's uh yeah, you, know, you gotta get the wine bottle down here. Uh you might have missed the map. Is it down here? Something's in here. Ah. The wall. Ah, the wall. In this area, we gotta get the wine bottle. Kerosene, which is like right by the place where you use the wine bottle. It's a cool transition area, it's not very long. It's kind of boring. It leads to one of the best areas though, the hilltop center. Is this the hallway? I usually never get to do all the New Game Plus stuff because um, I usually beat it and then something happens and then I just have to start a new game or something. This might be it. I think I remember it having like gray. That's where we came from, right? Shotgun. Give me the stuff. Okay. There's some kerosene left in the heater, it looks like. If I had some sort of container, I could take it with me. for this area yet. Let's kind of remember where it is though. Yeah. The little ones are more threatening than the big ones. Those are so much quieter when you're not flying. Is this a trap room? I think it's just a trap room.
There's an achievement in Silent Hill 1 for beating the areas, to all the different areas, uh, without using the map. I think that would be interesting. The first game, it's really hard to, um... It's really hard to just run through areas without getting hurt. We need kerosene. I think I think we get the wine bottle from like one of these long hallways that don't lead anywhere. Maybe this one. This area has two levels though. Oh, it is that one. Okay. It's one of these door. It's one of these. I don't know how to get there though. Well, I haven't been there yet. Um, it's like a dead end place. Uh, I know that much. What if we go forward and leave this way? Nothing, right? Okay. That's back that way. Uh... Oh, wow. What a big ass maze. I think I know where we gotta go. Here, it's back this way. Jesus Christ. Don't some of the enemies get um, that texture on them too? Like that uh, living texture? I wasn't fucking lost right now. Let's try back to the left, forward, and then to the right. This opens, yeah. Okay, so there, there has to be either. Yeah, this is it. There has to be something. Yeah, wine bottle. There we go. Beef jerky. 
Now we go back to the save room. Get the kerosene. And I think it's this way, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's back to the right. Yeah, okay. This room is like, like literally right next to the other room. Where you get the kerosene? I don't remember. Practice blocking. Okay, <laughs> no longer interested in me. actually start the machine. Should work now. Oh. Where is it? Is the drain pipe in the other room? Where is it? There's a big button here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, those are a waste to practice with. You are about to never see them again. <laughs> Is that true? You really don't see them after that? Ah, oh, you can't jump down. I think the numb bodies don't appear after the hilltop center. I don't remember. Ah, oh, I wish we could do the sewer ferry. <laughs> oh, there's a little cool little Easter egg here. Not here. Yeah, you start seeing the slurpers and stuff. Fucking such good enemy design. Really? Okay. Good sounds. Yeah, here we 
we go. Nothing to say, nothing to say. Danger, keep out. This is probably posted over there. I can see where I fell off. There's a monster in the water, and the two bastard the bastards killed two of my buddies. I should never have doubted that old urban legend about alligators in the sewers. That was no miss. But no one believes me. They were drunk and slipped. We're not that damn stupid. Even calling in a monster isn't quite right. There's something. This is something else. All I know is something's in there. I'm going in now to beat the thing's head, and if you find this note, consider it my will. Revenge is futile, or so you may think, reading this, but Jose and Jamie were my best buddies. I wish I knew how to do the deed. Guns won't work underwater, and even my famous knife work won't do much. I finally had a hand grenade. This is where you can see the cool easter egg. Yeah, you can see a slurper in there. She doesn't say anything about it. Then when you come back, it's gone. Oh, that's a lot of garbage. Where did it all come from? And pool. I was wondering when we would actually pick one of those up. I think we missed a few in the uh, mall. You know, at the Ampool store. Actually, I'm curious. Is it um, is it missing right when you come back, or do you have to pick up the hair dryer? Oh, it's gone. Please, please, please. There it is. If there was no outlet in that room, um, <laughs> we'd be pretty fucked. Or the cord wasn't like long enough. Can't see anything, it must be broken. Why is that down here? Alright, well, you know what we gotta do. <laughs> she just flatly lays there. And. Jesus. <laughs> God. It's a horrible way to die. Drowning and then you know you're gonna get eaten. Oh, it looks like she was eaten immediately. Something drew blood. I found it in a sort of garbage dump. Still looks usable now.
Oh, this has such good sounds too. Nope, never mind. <laughs> it's pendulums. Ugh. smell like shit down there. Reference to sneak in here. So many good sounds here. Just the ceilings and the roofs have been like caving in, but all the other floors are fine, probably. I thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like it has been used. Plain old wash bin, nothing special about it. <laughs> Definitely hear footprints or something. Ah, footsteps above you. round pointy hammer it's super heavy but at least it's got some oomph come on a silencer I can see legs through the broken part of the wall. I hope those are just mannequin legs, but I guess I'm not that lucky. Just like the black cat, I wish I hadn't seen that. Yeah, it's supposed to be Snake. At least a little reference to Snake, because um, Silent Hill 3 um, has some of the paintings. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 has some of the paintings from the church in this game. This little home made up of cardboard boxes and old blankets. I guess a squatter was living here. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shit, dude. Don't fall, Heather. Wow, I've never seen that animation. Almost falling off like backwards. Oh, because I was playing 2D. I guess that is hard to trigger in 2D. Nothing over here, right? Oh. Nah.
<clears throat> this is the mattress I threw down before. I don't need that anymore. That sucks. Ugh. I tried blocking. <laughs> this little cool thing with the drums. Pretty neat. I always think it's in this room, but there's those Dalmatians. Mannequin catalog, I guess this is the reception area for a mannequin company. Um, there's uh, there's these Dalmatian statues that um, were reused in Silent Hill 4. Same, I think it's the same hallway as the dance studio. I feel like I'll know it once I see the hallway. Oh, what do we got there? There's some magazines here, but nothing really important. One of them I've already read, and the other just doesn't interest me. Calendar, nothing interesting written on it. Supply room, little oh, supply room. Is this the car place? Yeah. Desk goes all cluttered up. It doesn't even look like anything I'm interested in. Drawers open just a smidge. It must be rusted or something. I can't pull it out any further. Here's the dance studio. I'm curious, is there actually anything in here? I thought it was two insane cancers and a dog, but I guess it's two dogs and an insane cancer. Right, well, let's uh, go back. It's because we took a hit. Well, there's literally nothing <laughs> in the dance studio. Uh, this is blocked. Get the katana around here. I always forget. I think it's this hallway, at least. Yeah, I think it's this one. Every time. Hey! Oh. Hell yeah. This is the only mannequin with a head. There's something weird about the headless ones. Like, they can still see me or something. <laughs> I don't think the camera moved um, quite in time. <laughs> this this is blood. 
I need to do door dashing and lift every day. I've made three hundred dollars in sixteen hours. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's one of my favorite scares. I forgot about that one. They they based a whole section of the movie on that. The second movie. The one that got a six out of a hundred on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Not even a one out of ten. <laughs> Where's the elevators? Where's the stairs? That's the door. There's the no. Where's the stairs? Is it that? No, that's the little window where we came in. Uh, that's the dance studio. That has to be the stairs. Uh, Jopa says, do you still have the save for your completed Clock Tower 3? Probably not. Um, I lost a lot of my PS2 saves not too long ago. Ah, uh, man. I might have to restart Siren 2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the auto parts. This is where we get the jack. Jesus. to see you play hard mode. Like I said, the bosses are faster with different weapons, and you go into panic mode easier, like the Sludge Hammer has a spiked mace ball. Ooh. Maybe. I don't know when I'll be in the mood to play that again. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Every time I get to this area, I'm just like, where's the guitar? Even though I'm literally not using any weapons. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, this is just... No! Oh god. I haven't heard a single enemy. This is, this is where you get it. Mm -hmm. It's right in here. I 
think this block painting right here was also used in something else. It's a price written here. Let's see, five thousand dollars. What a world. <laughs> Oh, we gotta go to K and M on our parts, yeah. The office, and then you get the, well, we got the screwdriver, so now we just need the jack, all right. The jack, there it is. How does Heather know she has to like go down the floor? It's just like, I have to pry this uh, elevator open. Let's touch it so that she will mark it. Cause I think it's on the right side. Yeah, there it is. And then not there, but over here. Dance studio. save here my uh, my sleeping medications kicking in got the early shift tomorrow mm. Monday all over again yeah so let's do that uh, I'm gonna pop my be right back screen on let's find somebody to raid yeah, good night, Jopo. Thanks for hanging out. Noise of Silent Hill 3 Addendum 1. What? I don't know what that's about. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, let's find somebody to raid. I think Katie might be on. Stuff. 